Academic communities are really special places. They're dynamic and they change. Their success depends upon bringing in the best and the brightest. The mission is to make the world a better place by putting talented people out there to do this kind of work. You know, mentoring is not always promoted. I, I will say that here on our campus, though, this is a big part of our culture. I want many young people learn about us and learn about science, learn about applied science, how we call it, so that they can have options and learn and continue this industry. Having these summer internship programs is actually a great, great way to get students better exposed to research and get them interested early. Maybe I'm so passionate about it because I, I didn't have a lot of undergrad research experience. I think one of the, the great joys of my job is to mentor. The broad array of like exposure to different techniques and different research areas and all the seminars, just a very big perspective on like how much more I can do. The fact that you can take a stem cell and make it anything or most other things is like insane to me. All of the mentees and mentors that were part of the GSA certainly make new connections that I didn't even maybe realize were, were possible here on campus. Uh, it was really something that pushed our science along. Students bring terrific energy, which sometimes is otherwise hard to find if you're you know, dealing with all the ins and outs of, of running a lab. You know, I walk in the room and, and I'm automatically rejuvenated. The students that we had in the, in the summer program are amazing, including Eliza. You know, she came in and she wanted the hardest projects that we had and, you know, the, the most challenging, the one that we had to think about a lot. And she did really well. I get really excited about studying this because nobody really knows. It's just something that is left to figure out and if we did deduce what's going on there, we could probably help a lot of people like medically and help with developmental disorders, things like multiple sclerosis, just a lot of things that have to do with the brain that people suffer from. Honestly, this program has really solidified my confidence as a researcher and scientist. I've had a wonderful experience. This has been life-changing, honestly. Every day I've come in and learned something new, and every day is always a, uh, a new exciting challenge. With each individual steps, he works either with one or two scientists, or he works with all of us, and he follows the procedure we show him how to do, and then also teach him the basics of the science why you do it, how you do it. He comes, he's very different. There's this certain tool exists to do this. He's bringing very different perspective to us. Joseph is probably one of the most enthusiastic and ex excited young scientists I've ever worked with. And so I really am thankful to be able to work with him. The project we're doing together actually is one that Originally, we were not planning to start, and so Joseph came in and he already had a vision. He's someone who I think has ex has insights beyond his level of training. And, and so, you know, I've been really fortunate to, to recruit some fantastic folks. He stands out immediately as an undergrad, having sort of a scientific instinct that is really hard to develop and honestly is hard to train in someone. It has to be an intrinsic sort of curiosity and passion and skill. That's a hard combination to get. Uh, very few people I've worked with can find it. I think he's got it, and you know, he's got a ton of potential in my opinion. So far, I'm someone whose interest is something I don't really like about myself, but anything I see, I want to learn. Every day in the lab, first like I'm in heaven, to be honest. I live in a third world country, so it's science education is poorly developed, especially for a deaf person like myself. Men doctors normally understand deaf people's needs. At least, it's not that great. I just want to start. I want to be the solution so other people can follow. So that's why I'm here. We need to make these programs accessible. We need to make them available and equitable. And the only way to do that is to be able to really know who are we able to reach and who are we not. You know, who, who, are we, who are we missing that could be the next great scientist that otherwise wouldn't have the chance? Yeah, I'm used to people who look a lot like me and have similar backgrounds. And, though well, that's not always the case, having the student come in has made me rethink, how can I be a better mentor? How can I be a better communicator? And that's really valuable. And another reason why bringing in people from around the world, around the country, different backgrounds, different abilities, is so important. Thank you.